It's great to be here with you. Today, the videos are sent from our old customer. He established his block plant two years ago. He mainly produced the paving blocks. Now, let's follow the camera of going to his concrete block factory together. This is the Holland brick. The size is 200 by 100 by 60 millimeters. This is the most common pavement bricks. The hydraulic automatic block machine is equipped with color material feeding machine. We can customize the color of the paver block on base of specific order requirements. This is the tactile paving brick. Tactile paving is designed to provide tactile cues and guidance to pedestrians, particularly those with visual impairments or blindness. The size of this paver is only 100 by 100 by 60 millimeters. Generally, this kindly of paving block is not used separately. It is used with other shapes and sizes paver for some certain patterns. For the square paver, there are three common sizes, 200 by 200 millimeters, 250 by 250 millimeters, and 300 by 300 millimeters. For the thickness of the square paver, you can choose 50 millimeters, 60 millimeters, or 80 millimeters. It is determined by the application scenarios. You can transport the pavers to curing area when there are about 10 layers. We can see the steel support frame. It can enhance the transportation efficiency largely. By the application of the steel support frame, we can customize the stacker which can accommodate two rows or three rows pallets. For the large commercial street or commercial plaza, the large sized rectangle pavers are better choice. Most customers choose the size 300 by 600 by 60 millimeters. The block machine also can produce the grass paver. They are used for parking lots. They provide a stable surface for vehicles and pedestrians while allowing grass or vegetation to grow through them. There are many different designs for the grass paver. You can choose the most popular design on base of local market requirements. Slope protection bricks are used to stabilize and protect slopes, embankments, and shorelines from erosion caused by natural elements like water, wind, and gravity. After production, the bricks are transported to curing area. The bricks wait for cement to set. For the paving block, it will be better not exposing to the sun directly. About one days later, the bricks can be moved from the pallets and stacked. The automatic stacking machine can move the bricks from the pallets and stack automatically. Then the pallets are recycled. Before stacking, the bricks are sprayed water. After packing, we need to spay water to the brick stacks. That will keep the bricks moist. It will be helpful for the bricks to achieve the maximum intensity. Now, the bricks are ready to sold. If you are interested in the automatic paving block machine, you also can contact us for more information. Subscribe to my channel and turn on the post notifications getting the newest video.